Mexico for five minutes. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. My amendment is similar to that of my friend from New Mexico. It would simply increase funding for defense environmental cleanup at specifically the NNSA labs by just under $22 million to bring it to the level of the President's request and decrease funding for the NNSA Office of the Administrator by the same amount. I offer this amendment because, to put it simply, it's a more effective use of taxpayer funds for NNSA to remove dangerous, toxic waste from their lab's property than it is to maintain the current levels of oversight bureaucracy. Last June, the Los Conscious Fire burned 150,000 acres in my district in New Mexico and encircled Los Alamos National Laboratory. Had the fire burned contaminated areas on the lab property, a plume of toxic smoke would have threatened the health of everyone in its path. The lab has promised to clean these areas, many of which contain waste from, if you can believe this, Mr. Chairman, the Manhattan Project and Cold War weapons programs. But Congress must also fulfill its obligation to appropriate funds for the cleanup. While the NNSA labs have pressing environmental issues that demand our attention, there has been increasing evidence that paring back the NNSA's office and the administrator could actually make the agency and its labs more cost-effective and productive. A recent report by the National Academies of NNSA's management of its laboratories concluded that the NSA's oversight had become inefficient and a distraction from the lab's vital mission. Following a series of hearings, the House Armed Services Committee added provisions to the FY 2013 National Defense Authorization Act that this body passed a few weeks ago to change NNSA's approach and reduce its personnel. This amendment is consistent with these provisions. There are going to be fewer authorized NSA, NSA personnel than NSA's funding should reflect that. My budget neutral amendment reduces outlays by $3 million next fiscal year by simply moving funds from the NNSA regulatory arm to a place where they put boots on the ground and support cleanup. And while I very much appreciate the work of the chairman and the ranking member, the entire committee in this area with their commitment to cleanup, it's my hope, Mr. Chairman, that I'd be able to emphasize to our distinguished leaders managing the floor of the dire situation that needs attention in New Mexico and around the country. With that, Mr. Chairman, I urge adoption of this amendment and yield back the balance of my time.